safe. Hurricane Harvey has came and gone, and this is what remains. Take a look. So the streets are littered with trash. All right, guys. So no doubt there was some definite damage done to my neighborhood. Here is just some of the stats of Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey cost $150 billion to $180 billion in damage, which is more costly than Hurricanes Katrina or Sandy which devastated that of New Orleans in 2005 and New York City in 2012. Hurricane Harvey was a category four before making landfall with wind speeds of 130 miles per hour. It may be pretty obvious to you that in my neighborhood, the winds did not really affect us. It was mostly water damage. So exactly how much water fell? Well, here's another stat. Over 33 trillion gallons of water fell across the US, but only 15 to 20 trillion gallons of water fell across Texas. Not sure of what 33 trillion gallons of water would look like? Well, if you put all the water that was collected into a cube, this is how that would look next to downtown Houston. Three miles tall and three miles wide. So over Harris County alone, which is home to Houston, one trillion gallons of water fell in the four days from Saturday through Tuesday. That's as much water as flows over Niagara Falls in 15 days. It is also enough to cover the entire state of Arizona in more than one foot of water. So over 51 inches fell. That's the highest rainfall total in any storm in the history of the United States. So I thought that was a couple of interesting stats. As you can see through my neighborhood, most of the sidewalks are blocked off and there's no way of going through them. There are no sidewalks open right now. So what does that mean for me? Well, I guess it means I'm gonna have to roll in the street. There are still several cars in the street because there are several neighbors out walking around trying to help each other out 
and cleaning their houses. A lot of repairs are being done. This is actually very well after the storm has already happened. The trash actually took several weeks before they even started picking up anything. And here is one of the problems with too much debris. Yep, I missed the trash but hit a pile of dirt and my wheels sunk in and I fell forward. But I'm okay. So going down these streets I have to be well aware of all of the debris or rubble that's in the streets. I do hit a lot of rocks and trash that is just lying low on sidewalks and streets. Sometimes I am forced to go in the street. No choice. Kind of reminds me of skating in Toronto. Next to the cars. So after skating the streets for several days, there has been an overwhelming smell of dampness and mold in the streets. There are people in my neighborhood that got only a couple inches of water and there are others just a couple of streets down that got three to four feet of water and some even seven to nine feet of water. All along Edgebrook was the worst location. That is the current street that I am skating down right now. A lot of trash. If you want to clean out your house, here's your chance. There were a lot of rumors about oil and gas prices going up, but honestly it's been a while now and I haven't seen prices go up just as of yet. So even though Harvey did not hit us with a lot of winds, it did hit us with a lot of rainfall, over 51 inches. So this has been your Harvey update, thank y'all for watching, stay tuned for my next video. Harvey. Fell back now.